The Apple Studio Display when plugged into a PC can be tricky from either outright not working or working like a breeze. Getting this thing to work is a pain and seemingly everyone runs into different issues. Here's been my experience over the last few months. Day one with the Apple Studio Display was a rude awakening. From the realization that I just spent what you might pay for a computer, for just my monitor, to finding out you either need a Thunderbolt card or a second wire from Cable Matters in order to run this with your PC. The Apple Studio Display kept coming up with new ways to stump me, like finding out the wire I ordered causes random artifacting when restarting my PC. And the only way to fix this is unplugging and replugging the wire back in until it just, just works. works. Still not being able to use some of the most talked about features like center stage or even the webcam at all, no mic or speakers for that matter, and still no way to interact with the monitor outside the four type C ports. But at least you get a tilt stand that, while not super perfect, the viewing distance is high enough but you'll likely end up still wanting a monitor stand, especially if you're on the taller side. There are tons of reasons you might want to try using Windows with your studio display. Let's just admit that Apple's color calibration is on a level of its own, with colors almost being exactly true to life no matter the device. Here we don't have Apple's mini LED display, so blacks are seemingly less black than something like the M2 Pro, but considering the display is half the device, making it another 1K display, what do you expect? And there are tons of features that the average PC user doesn't think about. That comes standard on this display. Apple has fallen short a number of ways with this display. This display features auto tilt, however, in Windows, will you get access to that feature? Good luck. Or even post image processing. Literally half the reason this camera looks good is the A13 chip inside. However, boot into Windows and that chip becomes practically useless. Apple wasn't targeting the Windows market with this display and it shows quite greatly. You can get a number of displays with any of the features you're looking for except for one. If you own a Mac and use just about any other display other than an Apple one, then you'll know the hell it can be waking your Mac up. This video isn't about Mac Studio display compatibility, but if you need it, you really can only start here. I've seen videos where people outright give up trying to use their Mac to work with other displays and simply end up using their Mac display until later when the computer finally decides to light up, a problem that is seemingly becoming more common with each Mac update. The Apple Studio display offers something not many other monitors can and the price now is steep, assuming you don't need to be in the Apple ecosystem. Of course, that is a mind limitation, and if you're just looking for a 5K display, the LG Ultra Sharp has the exact same panel in a matte finish, so you get the Nano upgrade for free. There are even displays with the exact same design that come with a height adjustable stand. However, what you want from a monitor is up to you, and the LG Ultra Sharp with the same display has no camera. Practically every monitor in this caliber can't deliver what the Apple Studio display does, and if it can, the price is almost the same or even more. But let's talk about what makes the Apple Studio display better than all those, and not just subjectively from an Apple fan's perspective, but generally. Forget that you have no way of interacting with your monitor, and when you look at your screen, you find no pixels. When you look away, your eyes don't need to readjust to colors. Assuming you're on a PC and you do professional grade work on your PC, but need to move over to your Mac for some touch-ups, you take off with your Mac, edit the content, get home, have the same colors you are editing with on the road. Assuming you do any professional work, color symbiosis is a must if you want to move your work around. And another one of those stories, I hear people who literally bring a color calibration tool everywhere they go just to keep their photos accurate. In a pro bag, there's often very limited extra room, so being able to take an extra thing out is a pro in itself. You can't pay 2k on a product that barely works and expect to rationalize it, but if you look at it from a work standpoint, then consider everything else after, what else can you pick? Again, look at the screen, the reason you don't see any of those pixels is the density. You're looking at a screen image of 218 pixels per inch. Spread that across a 5k image, if you do any digital work, you'll likely be happy with the specs of this monitor a 600 nit P3 color gamut, 5K native resolution, the only pitfall, a 60 hertz resolution, three type C ports and one full Thunderbolt port, the most industrial design possible, black bezels, which are unnecessarily large, but depending on who you ask, it's actually a plus. 